Hello Capricorn, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. Now this is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. Please take what does and leave the rest alone. If not, you might want to look at my playlist for Capricorn for November. There's messages there or you might want to look at your moon and rising signs. Ask your angels. Now angels are in the heavenly realm, definitely. So you could be asking or praying to the angels uh, in spirit. Or there's plenty of angels that walk this material earth that can support you. So whether it be um, getting advice from people that are supportive or whether it be friends, family, partners, supportive people around you. Adjustments are required in the third quarter moon. So you might be having to adjust things here, moving the goalposts, changing things. Nothing will come of the situation. Void, of course, moon. So there's something that's not going to come to fruition. So you don't want to be having your own expectations of things here. Don't try and think ahead and think you know the answers. Keep a very, very open mind here about what's going to come out of things. So if you adjust things, it could be all that's needed here. You could be expecting the worst here. Let's see what this is about. So we've got the moon. The Tower Moment, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of so uh, Wands, I beg your pardon, Six of Wands. The overall energy is Emperor Energy. The beautiful Temperance card. The Four of Pentacles. The Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Now, what we've got here is we've got a stuck energy here. Now, nothing is moving. There's no decisions being made here. There's no with the heart or the head. And nothing is growing anymore. So you're in this stuck energy here. So when we're saying nothing will come of this situation, there's no growth left. So you're holding on to something that you need to let go here because it's holding you back. It's a kind of stuck energy. Now, we can hold on to things, whether it be relationships, finances, or environments. Um, because we've got a certain amount of security. It's gave us security in the past. So we could be in jobs, for example, to pay our bills, but there's no growth. We're holding on to jobs where there's no job, job satisfaction. This can be a very black and white way of looking at things as well. So things are never black and white. We need to look at whatever we're stuck, where we feel stuck, whatever area of life this is, and let it go now, because there's no more growth there for you. You need to decide how you want to go forward. And it's what your idea of stability is. There could be opportunities coming forward for new stability. If we look at what we're passionate about, we go start to think about what we want to bring into our lives where there's growth. There could be growth. We can become inspired about again. So new creative ideas that we have, things we've always wanted to do. It could be things from childhood, learning new skills, developing new skills, taking up new jobs, going into industries we're passionate about, investing our money into something. We could have a lot of money in the bank, but it's not going to do anything. We might want to think about investing in a property, anything like that. Whatever it is, start to think about what you're passionate about and what you want to create here, because there's, that will bring new opportunities and you'll move on from this stuck type of energy that you're feeling at the moment. Now, there's been instability in the past. There's been tower moments. You could be going through them or you've been through them. And that's why sometimes we're frightened to come away from what we know. There's a fear aspect to this. This tower moment happens when anything unstable is on our path. So we could be losing jobs here, for example, we've been in for years. Uh, but Spirit's saying there's no growth here. You could be in relationships you've been in for years that have lost their spark. Whatever this may be for you. Um, it could sometimes feel like the, the rug's been pulled under your feet for some of you. But whatever this tower moment is, if you've been through it or you're going through it, do not be frightened to start to weigh things up to bring better balance into your life and move on from the stuck feeling that you've got at the moment. So things are never always black and white. What Spirit's saying is you can ask advice from people on this earth. You can get support from family, friends, counsellors, um, People with knowledge here, the, the overall central energy is about you taking control back here after tower moments. Now, tower moments are different for everybody, whatever you consider a tower moment to be. And there's a fear factor here. 
Now, what Spirit's saying is they will support you and there's people on this material earth that can support you. They could give you advice. Somebody with a lot of knowledge could help you move on. So good investments for money. Somebody with knowledge for finances. It could be a boss type, somebody who's running a business that you would like to join. Um, you know, a company you would like to join. There's somebody with a lot of knowledge that can help and, you know, um, enlighten you after unstable times. But don't be frightened to do these and make these choices and take control here or ask people for advice because what will happen is you can see this moon turns into the sun. There is definitely things will start to grow and you'll start to see be enlightened with, with the knowledge that you gain here. And that's going to help you weigh things up to bring better balance in. Now, this could likely say it could be in any area of your life, your finances, your relationships, your work life or your environments. So it's about time to take control now. It's time to get the necessary knowledge, gather it, ask for help, advice, whatever it may be that you're needing here. And it's time to weigh things up and decide how you're going to go forward to bring growth back to a certain situation in your life that you're going through, whatever this may be for you. Now, there's a lot of success ahead by making the necessary adjustments that are required. So you could be coming up with new financial plans. You could be coming up with, you know, moving towards jobs or taking up courses, leaving jobs behind, your comfort zones, your rut. You're going and taking up new invest, investing your time, learning a new skill, developing a new skill that you've always wanted to learn. Anything like that is going to bring you success. Now, you can see him moving forward towards success. He's been through battle, but he's found victory through weighing things up. And he's decided what he wants to go forward that he's inspired with. And it's going to bring growth to his life now. And people are going to respect you for the choices and what you're creating here. So there's going to be public recognition. People are going to look at you and say, oh, my goodness, look how well you've done. There's a lot of success to be had here. And it's going to bring great balance back after unstable times and uncertain times. So like I say, tower moments are different for everybody. Whatever this is, this is about taking control now and bringing beautiful balance and harmony back into your life. So through taking up things we're passionate about or making the necessary adjustments that are needed to get us back on the right track here, we're going to bring harmony back in. So this only comes after times of challenge. Like I say, there's patience needed with this card, but there's harmony coming back into your relationships and your environments. That balance is coming back in through making the necessary adjustments and the weighing things up to bring that in for you. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I've got the time, I'm just going to clarify this Four of Pentacles energy here. Yeah, choices. So this here is about making choices in this case. This can be the lover's card. It could be within relationships. Like I say, any area of your life. But this here for me and for this to clarify this four of pentacles energy is about you making choices and making the rest of the adjustments that are needed. This gem, this is the lover's card. It's Gemini energy. The old idea of it, the old meaning of it was choices. Choices being made to move away from anything that's causing you anxiety or upset in your life. Again, different degrees of this for everybody. And this is going to move you towards greater stability. There's movement going to come in from leaving behind things that are holding you back. So make the necessary adjustments by all means, because there's going to be movement coming in. It could also be opportunities, like I say, if you're going towards things you're passionate about, this could be opportunities, solid opportunities coming in uh, for growth and movement forward. So a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy could be bringing forward solid opportunities. So new job opportunities, uh, new courses, new financial opportunities that are going to move you on. So make the adjustments that's necessary here. Get the necessary support that you need, whether it be legal advice, anybody knowledgeable, or support from family or friends if you want to talk about that. But it's definitely going to move you from unstable times into it's going to help you decide how to bring in better balance. Ask again. What well, ask? It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. So keep that in mind. Definitely not. Energy. Energy. Try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people. Absolutely. It raises your vibrations. So coming away from any kind of anxiety, environments where there's anxiety or people with it that cause you anxiety. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.